Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How many Old Brick Giftians joined the forces and how many of those died? About 1,400 over the course of the war, from 1914 to 1918. Of those who died, the number is 251. Why do you think so many Old Brick Giftians um, had joined the army? I think historically because a lot of the Old Brick Giftians would have had family, grandfathers, fathers, great-grandfathers and uncles who served in forces, certainly during the South African Wars, the Boer Wars. Um, and it was very patriotic times and they were encouraged, so certainly publicly they were encouraged to join. The, the press at that time would have been a lot of material uh, about the forces and about the, the wars. Um, a lot of little sort of penny magazines as they were also had drawings of boys in uniform and men in uniform. So that would have encouraged them. How did the um, school day change for the boys who stayed behind? The boys who stayed behind, it wouldn't have changed dramatically, but one thing they would have done, they would have been more aware in certainly 1915 of the raids by Zeppelins. Um, Croydon was bombed by a Zeppelin uh, in October 1915. The school uh, would have had its own system in place. Um, don't know about evacuation, that happened more in the Second World War, but certainly the First World War, First World War they would have been aware of the closeness of the bombing in France, they probably would have even heard from time to time some of the heaviest bombardments. Um, and they would have done their bit for the war. The, the one thing that school would have done, and certainly the boys would have done, they'd have been very active in um, creating allotments and participating in work on allotments to, to dig the ground over, to, to put food in, to put the vegetables in, um, because obviously supplies were short, food was short. So if there'll be a at Whitgift, there'll be a e exhibition on World War One. Uh, what will be the main exhibits? Well, the main exhibits is going to be a really exciting exhibition. Uh, it's, it begins in, in March 2016. It, we hope it goes through to the beginning of September. We've got some really unique items. Some of the items are in the cabinets here in the display room. Uh, we'll have hopefully anything from uh, uniforms of the period from the different regiments. We'll have the very first copy of Viper's Times, uh, which I think hasn't been seen, certainly even the Imperial War Museum, I believe, don't have a, this particular issue. So we'll have that on display. We'll have everything from trench clubs uh, that are reminiscent of very early uh, weaponry from medieval times. Um, as you'll see in some of these cabinets, we'll have things like knuckle dusters, which a lot of people think are sort of 20th century, uh, late 20th century implements, but weren't. Uh, we'll have items like this fellow here. We'll have full uniforms, mannequins wearing uniforms. In this case, Liverpool Powell's Regiment. The sets of medals, some fantastic medals. Thank you for letting us have this interview with you, and we hope that the exhibition in 2016 will be a great success. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. This is Jared and Luke for BBC News School Report.